With Mother's Day fast approaching, uh, we're gonna make a Mother's Day card today. And <clears throat> one of the things that I wanna talk about as far as um, repurposing some of your stamps, um, as you can tell, uh, the two stamps that I have in front of me, these are, this is the Daisy Delight and the Better With You. Um, both of these stamp sets will be retiring um, this year, so you have a very limited time to purchase them if they haven't sold out already. Um, and I will link to those uh, down below. But um, when you're repurposing your stamps and you're wanting to use them for something else, think about um, what it is as far as what's the holiday that you're using it for, what's the purpose. And so I thought for Mother's Day, it'd be nice to have a nice floral. <clears throat> so I went searching for some of my florals that I have. Um, and I have this Better With You stamp I love the little bird but it also has a little floral element and I have several other um, stamp sets that I also have that have a floral. Uh, the Daisy Delight has the little small uh, daisies on it for um, and I could probably use this or I could even use this and, and cut it out and include that on my card but today I'm going to actually use the Better With You stamp. But um, for using a, or repurposing your stamp sets for another purpose. Like I said, just go through your stamp sets and, and look to see what you have that would possibly go with that holiday. And so I'm gonna use the Better With You stamp set uh, for my card today. And I don't have, none of, the, none of the sentiments on here are Mother's Day, but I did have a paper pumpkin um, from I believe it was last year um, they had one that has a little flower and that's one of the things that gave me that idea but it has a happy Mother's Day and I'm going to use that but if you don't um, have anything like that you can always put that down um, use a an alphabet stamp set um, and create whatever sentiment that you want to and it's great to have um, different types of stamp sets and things like that or even to take a printer and use a font to print that off onto maybe the cardstock that you're planning to use or print it off on something else and, and glue it there um, that's fine I mean either of those things will work but for today, I'm actually using a stamp set that's already created, and um, so I won't be needing my needing that. But I will need several other items that I will use. I'm going to use the Lovely Lipstick stamp pad, and I'm going to use the Sahara Sand. And in order to color in my flower, I'm actually going to use the watercolor pencils by Stampin' Up. Um, I don't quite use these enough, and I should. Um, but these are the items that I'm going to use other than, you know, just a tape runner and some cardstock. So, to create my design on, I'm actually going to use um, some just Whisper White that I've already cut down to 4 inches by 5 inches. And I have some pink cardstock that I've cut down, cut in half um, to create my card base. So I'm going to have all these items and I'm going to try to maneuver a few things around and pull things out so that I can get everything situated. But I'm going to put the lovely lipstick aside for a second and I'm going to just stick with the Sahara Sand and my stamp that I'm going to use. And I'm actually using the little flower stamp. And I, double check, make sure I don't have anything in there, and I don't yet. Um, <clears throat> in order to create this design, I'm just going to stamp this out on here, but I really want to create a, um, a mask for it before I get started. <laughs> And to create my mask, I'm just going to take a post-it um, that I'll just stamp this onto and cut it out. And I'm going to 
to try to get it up close to the top doesn't have to be perfect the only thing that I'm doing at this point is just creating that mask and while I do that I'm gonna go ahead and close this up for a moment and I try to get that as close to the sticky part as I could just because when I cut it out I'm wanting to stick it down to the paper pull out some paper snips and I'm going to cut this out first I'm gonna cut around it and then I'm gonna fussy cut it but I'm wanting to build up this onto the background and the mask will allow me to get in there and stamp maybe my other small snips All right. All right, so now that I have my mask created, this is going to help me um, build up a design. And anytime that you create a mask, you can always just store that into in your stamp um, box, and that way you always have it, and you only have to do this once. Um, but I'm gonna take my mask and I'm going to take my cardstock and I'm creating a design this way and then having my little sentiment or hmm, they just we'll just see but anyways um and I'm going to use my Sahara sand because I'm using the watercolor pencils and I want to hide um the details of this stamp and this is very light as you can see it doesn't it's not very dark so this is going to be nice um, to use and if you're using watercolor painting you can stamp off if you want it even lighter I'm not going to worry about it as far as the color I I'm going to use just the straight from the pad onto the paper but I'm going to use my mask to hide if you will and kind of build up my little layers here. Um, so I'm going to start with just stamping off my flower. And I'm going to put him off to the side. And then I'm going to take my mask and I'll turn him of put this on here and now I can stamp where I need to and I'll have flowers in the background this and try like and now I have this one in the foreground and several others in the background and then now I have my card ready to color go ahead and close that up 
up and I'm going to take my mask and put it in here and my stamp like so and pull out my watercolor pencils. <clears throat> And I'm going to start building this up. I'm going to use my lighter color first. And that is going to go into the center. And this is the Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to color this part in. And then I'm going to move in to my pumpkin pie. And I do apologize, there's a train coming, so it may get a little loud here. But before, before the train gets here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in with the melon mambo. I'm going to color in my flowers, um, and then I'll probably be speeding through as the train actually comes through. I'll speed up the... We'll speed up the video.
got one. Can't believe I forgot that. All right, so once you have that done, and I just put the the um the melon mambo toward the inside and where it was underneath the leaf i got a little darker there so this area these areas would be a little bit darker than they normally would be and i just kind of went straight out and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the white and i'm going to blend in this area and move it outwards I know the white's a little hard to see. Well, it's turning a little pink right there. Once we add the water to it, it'll move even more. It's not a very difficult technique. Just the blending. Right. Move this outward, and because we know that, and I'm really pressing down very hard for this section, um, just so that you know, I am pressing down very hard. Um, to kind of blend this in and then because white is not quite white it's a few other colors um, especially a gray but I don't have a gray so I'm going to use oh yes I do never mind I'll take that back I do have a basic gray um, and I'm not going to press down as hard this is going to be very light I am going to press a little bit harder in these areas that overlap just to create that shadow.
right there. And cats are chasing themselves through the house. So now that I have my gray down, a little darker right there. Okay. Now that I have my gray down, I'm going to take a water brush. All right. So I'm going to take my little. water brush um, from Stampin' Up and I'll put some water in it and I'm going to try to squeeze it a little bit get the water going and all I'm going to do with the water brush is soften up and I need a paper towel or a penny next this too much but I'm just going to drag this color out If you get too much water, you can always dab it off. using some light strokes. And pulling it out from the center. And if you don't have the little water pen, you can always use just some water and a paintbrush to do the same thing. All right, I'm going to go back. This area over here is dry, so I'm going to start blending in that gray. And kind of 
pushing this out just a little bit more. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. We're going to go ahead and start putting everything else together. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and make my base. And so this is going to be the base of my card. And then I have some matching card stock and I'm going to use this to create my sentiment. I'm going to pull out my stamp. Now I'll go ahead and put that on there. And like I said, I'm using the lovely lipstick. And I just have a piece of scrap cardstock. straight down and up and so there's my sentiment and I'm going to use a punch to punch that out So I just have a plain label punch and I'll use this to punch out the sentiment. And I'm going to center that up in. And then punch that out. I love the punches because it can create these things very quickly. Um, takes absolutely no time at all. So now I'm going to take this and we're going to actually turn this so that it opens up this way. And I'm going to use a tape runner. And some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'll take this I'm going to put this down with the tape runner. And I will just eyeball this. If you want to add a little more detail, you can always add ribbon. 
um, if you'd like to. I'm not going to do that though. And then I will take my Stampin' Dimensionals. here or even taking um, and putting them behind this that's fine um, but you can you can do more if you want to but this is simple and easy and let's put your sentiment sitting right there pop it up and there you have it finished um, repurposed sun stamps that I've not used in a while um, you can always take and you can go back and you can add a little more if you want to I think my gray showed up enough, so I think I'm going to add some purple. It's the rich razzleberry. I don't know how many of you end up when you have a card, something didn't turn out right. You just kind of keep tweaking it. Let me know down in below in the comments below. And I'm sorry if I, my head blocks the view. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Do you often change things up as you go? You run into something that didn't turn out quite right. Do you change things up at the last minute? I know I'm really bad about that. I will change things up um, right in the middle of things, even um, just because if it's not going the way that I want it to go, I'm going to manipulate things and I'm going to move things around. It's the great thing about paper crafts that you have that opportunity that you can switch things around and change it up and manipulate it, cut things down and and change it up so it's a good thing I guess about paper crafts all right we are about ready to say it's done all right Yeah, I say I would say that's finished. Okay, so there's my car finished. Repurposed that stamp and and used it. I could have even added the leaves from this stamp if I wanted to. However, I wanted to do that. Um, but there it is, and the inside's blank. You can put your own message inside, and it's all finished.
All right, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots of other great crafts. Um, hopefully here soon, I'm actually working on a quilt. So I'll be actually including some quilting videos in this as well. Um, I'll have links down below to everything that you see here. And you also can find that information on my blog um, over at my website at justmarthadesigns.com. So check that out if you want to. And also remember the better with you and the daisy delight everything is this is it these are retiring and you want to get yours while you can so be sure to check out um my check out the description below for that information as well as um my blog for a list of items that are also retiring but hope you enjoyed this and hope you have a great and blessed day thank you bye